we proceed with the third step, which is declaration of the service class. Previously, we have designed the default path to assess the service at the class level. The path is design as slash teacher. We need to declare the path at the class level. The declaration is using an annotation class that is add path slash teacher. Path is the annotation that specify the resources made available by this class. Let's have a look at the source code that implements this design. Here is the declaration of teacher service with path annotation class. The value in parameter in the path is referring to the name of the service. When the web service consumer made a request using HTTP and the URI as shown here, the framework will look for class that binds to the URI. The URI is mapped to the path declared at the class level. It is a better design when this URI is sent to the service provider. There is an actual method binds to the URI get executed. The default URI must be bind to a method. We proceed with the fourth step, which is declaration of a service method. We have designed a method that binds to the default address. At the method level, we, we need to declare the web method, so we use at get, preceded with a notation sign. And then we need to declare the return type for the service using at produces, and we specify the type. For this method, we return it as media type dot explain. Let's implement this design. Here is the implementation that binds the address localhost 8080 slash rest provider slash services slash teacher to the method get default teacher message. To bind them, we specify get annotated class. The method is written a string and its service Consumer should be able to read it. So we declare the type using at producers. Then we specify the type as text plain using media type. Let's have a look at demo in Postman. We use Postman to test our web service. We provide the access to the service that we want to test. For example, HTTP localhost. 8080 slash rest provider slash services slash teacher. Then we press enter. Make sure that we specify the correct method which is get. We can check the output at the bottom part of Postman. Looks like it gives us the correct output. I think we are good here.